With exponential development, advancements in science, medical science, technology, I wonder if we will see, will we see a future, a time in the future where death will be optional and will that choice be of privilege? As there is a great shift in perception of death, now it is being approached more like a technical problem and discussed seriously among elites and scientific communities. Billions are being spent on healthcare and longevity, with instances of ultra-rich individuals investing their longevity on their longevity and doing what not. Throughout the ages, almost all parities. Probably only death has been an equalizer, but now not even that. I wonder if we are really heading towards dystopia, and that too, not just in one sense. Do you see it incoming? Eager to know your take. Okay, uh, we are in my the way I see it, based on whatever information is available in the public domain. I think we are very far, as as of today, from making death optional. Okay, uh, I mean people are doing research, biological research on uh, telomere lengthening, and and various other. Uh, telomerase enzymes that will cause telom telomere telomere lengthening and all that and various other kinds of research are being done cognitively also brain wise and uh, and so on to delay aging to reverse aging and so on but i think we are way 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 far away from any of that becoming actually you know controllable and uh, actually delaying death or uh, prolonging people's age i mean what's the average lifespan across the world i would imagine it will be around 75 80 if you can extend that by even 5 years that's going to be a major breakthrough we are nowhere close to that happening right now the way i see it in the future you may come you may there could be advances which could uh, delay age uh, delay aging and delay death so let's say you're able to add 20 years to a human being's life span through some treatment through some medical treatment so a person who would uh, typically live until the age of 80 they will now live to 100 or maybe you can extend the average life span to 120 even that does not make death optional you people will eventually die i mean eventually um, the end of life will happen and uh, i don't see any technology that is currently being considered or developed or even imagined that could actually completely take away the possibility of death because there are factors that uh, go beyond simply keeping the body alive okay death is caused primarily by aging and uh, everything deteriorates and so on let's say you extend someone's life span and may- let's say you make it 200 years for example can the human brain sustain itself for 200 years okay the human mind because this that's a certain finite amount of space in which you have all this data that goes in and it it, it can only only handle let's say 80 years or 100 years of memories and experiences and data you go beyond that you're going to have to start overwriting data and you may lose old memories and eventually you may forget who you actually are you may forget the first 100 years of your life if you live to 200 who knows that may also happen so i don't think that's something that's desirable uh so i don't see the sort of dystopia emerging anytime soon we're going to have ai we're going to have all these wonderful advances that are going to transform uh, our life but i don't think we are at the position even close to it where death becomes optional but yes uh, if you look at science fiction writers i mean I re- i've read all kinds of science fiction from the 19 from the what 18th century onwards the first science fiction novel is uh, is considered to be frankenstein by mary shelley and i've read science fiction for over the ages and if you look at science fiction written in the 1950s and 60s in the 1940s it's very very optimistic and today all science fiction is pessimistic it's all dystopian so it looks like technology is dragging us towards a dystopian kind of future especially the big corporations that control technology and release it and implement it and also and so forth so yeah you could see a dystopian future emerging but i don't think death has we are anywhere close to making death optional right now